All right, so we're going to talk about this drum off. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I think you said a while ago that you, how many times did you compete in the drum off? I want to say three or four times before. Three I to four times. I want to say it's between two to two to four. I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to, okay, let me think. First time I did not get past my city. Really? Second time, second and third time, if I'm not mistaken, I got to the one right before state. One of them was a cheat. Okay. And a, and another one was, was one of the homies, if I'm not mistaken. And then I, I want to say that third or fourth time is when I went all the way. And that was the year that I almost quit. You almost quit? I almost quit. Because that was when, that last year, it was me, Josiah, Maddox, Wendell Lowe, I think a couple other people. They picked this guy that was playing double bass drum the entire solo mm. over any of us. After that, I I convinced myself that this was rigged. Okay. And I did not want to do it. My wife, which was my girlfriend at the time, convinced me to keep going. So what I did was I took everything that I learned because I invested in the Octopad myself which is a, which is what a lot of people did not do i okay. invested in one myself got a hard drive got everything on there and took it to the places where i wanted to uh play so i had like 10 patches of different things that i was gonna do and this year was like a mash of like all the years that i brought together so, like, that wasn't just something that I just came up with over the, on the spot. Like, this was, like, years worth of, like, different um, different parts and segments and transitions that I went over and studied with everybody else that used the Octopad. Like, I, I thought through this stuff. Like, this wasn't something that just, like, just came out my butt. Like, this is, like, years worth of, like, trying to figure this out. Okay, yeah. I mean, it it showed <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely showed. So, hey, so okay, do you by by any chance know who won the years that you didn't make it? Like, for example, the one that did double bass, do you know who won that that whole drum off that year? I did them consistently. So, it was the last couple years before I won. So whatever, whoever won before that. So what, Sharik? Uh, okay. Crap, I can't remember his name. He was with Josiah. Um, you don't see him often on drums anymore. I cannot remember his name. I think that, it was J. I think it was JP. No, JP was a little a couple years before that. Yeah. Uh, so, is that the? Oh, I think is that Mark? The uh, Mark the plays was the Pearl? last year. Mark was the last year before me, before they okay. ended it. Oh, okay, yeah. I know who you're talking about that. Yeah, so. Dreadhead. I can't remember his name right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I know who you're talking about. Uh, he got a video on uh, Drum Bass Keys channel. I know mm -hmm. who you're talking about. Yeah. Dang. Um, but yeah, um, I want to yeah. say it was Sharik, him, and somebody else. I can't remember. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. been a minute since I watched drum off videos. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, you know, it's going to be Sweetwater videos. <laughs> so, glory, glory yeah, to like, God. Because <laughs> I don't know what. Never mind, no shade, but hey, <laughs> freedom of speech, country, y'all. Amen. Just remember that. Amen. Don't send her what you're doing. You fell off. Bottom line, you fell off. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> you fell off. <laughs> there you go. That's the, look. <sighs> But uh, yeah, so when it comes to this, like you, so you won and like, did you, did you get a choice to like pick your endorsers or was that the endorsers that just came to you? Mm -mm. So basically whoever, whoever was a part or under uh, Guitar Center, which is obviously all the companies, like the mainstream companies, you get to pick between those companies and you get a contract of one year 
to be with them. And if they decide to keep you, they decide to keep you. So obviously what? DW, Yamaha, Tama, um, Pearl, and then Remo, Evans, Promark, Vic Firth, Sabian, Lionel, Zildjian. I think those were... I think those were the ones that you got to pick from, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So they invite you to NAM, and they pay for everything. Um, okay. And, um, yeah, they take you to each company. Y'all have a conversation, and they present to you what they're trying to, what they're trying to do. And, um, yeah, you get to pick who you want to go with, and you get a year, year worth. But also that comes with it is you get a custom kit of your own with whatever company that you go with. And so then, is that that purple one you got? Yes. I like Galaxy. Okay. Yes. Yep. Uh, and they go. and they went above and beyond. That was not what that was not what was supposed to be on my drums. One of these days I'm going to actually like sit down and like show everybody like the amount of effort that they put into them drums. It was just supposed to be like some star stickers on that joint. Like they oh. made like like they went above and beyond for me. So like that kit is like it's it's it was it was an upgrade from me getting my PDP kit. Like my dad actually took time and got a kit that was like worked for me. Like mm -hmm. to this day, that kit is goaded. Like to this day. So yeah. Yeah, that that's yeah. Um that galaxy kit is special because they actually put like they hard into that joint and it's killer. Yeah, that's a that's a really dope kit. Oh, and actually, funny story. The kit that I'm playing is the same wood. Okay. Which is why I ended up taking the uh the wood that I got because that kit felt great. I didn't have to tune a thing. Like them drums felt amazing. So aside from the high have fallen, yeah. Okay. All righty. Uh, yeah. This. This. Hold on. Let me. Ooh. That snare. <laughs> Old faithful. This part here. <laughs> Where'd you get the sounds for that? Funny story. The Octopad does not let you put anything in it. This was all in there already? That is stock sounds. And here's where it gets interesting. And this is what people don't know about that Octopath. I studied, studied that joint to figure out what the heck everybody was doing. You can stack stuff on that Octopath. So, like, if you want, if you want double sounds, you can put double sounds on there. If, if I'm not mistaken, there is a way to trigger it a different way to, like, if you hit it a certain way, it may change. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. But, like, yeah, like, I sat down with that joint and figured out what the heck I was going to play. Like, I was going through them sounds, bro. Like, wow. and, then to make, and then to make it crazy, though, it felt 
it felt amazing in the house there. Like you can hear it, like even through my headphones, like I can hear like how loud it was, but they made sure you could hear that octopad. So it wasn't, it wasn't a thing of like, oh yeah, it's in there. Like it sounded like a band was playing with me type situation. Like they made sure that joint was right. They, That's- bro, that sound system was killing, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Joint was smacking, bro. Dang. So how hard was it for you to, while you were doing what you was doing with your right hand, pause, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> how hard was it for you to switch to those sounds? It's a practice. Okay. It's a practice, which is why I said earlier, like, this is literally like years worth of like figuring out transitions, when to mm-hmm. move over and touch it. Cause like pause. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I felt it. Pause. Um, <laughs> um, yes, this was years worth of figuring out transitions. And then over time, like it just got easier. Um, mm-hmm. Like just like just switching over. Um. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, or we got finish this. That that. <laughs> down down. I'm just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> times man good times have mercy god (laughs) (laughs) you want to you want to know something very funny about the drum off a lot of people were so frustrated because they couldn't get in and i feel like the reason why i won was because the work that nobody knows that i put in like i actually went to the website so here's the funny thing the website Guitar Center, when the drum off was happening, they told you everything. They told you all the rules. They told you everything that the judges look at. And the funny thing is, they tell you during during the drum off as well. Like every single joint, they tell you like, "Hey, you're getting you're getting points for this, 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 and this." And a lot of people have lost because they neglect certain things. Uh, so like, I studied studied the rules. So when when th- this year that I won, I made sure that I did every single criteria that they were looking for. And one of the criteria that a lot of people did not get into was interacting with the crowd. A lot of people just wanted to share it. A lot of people just wanted to show off that they didn't need the Octopad to do it. And it's just like, yo, that Octopad was actually your, your go-to to get a gig for a two-year tour. It had yeah. nothing to do with the fact that Like, that's your ticket in to win. It actually had everything to do with the fact that you're playing in front of every single famous artist in L.A. L.A. The drum off literally almost got me a gig that I knew I wasn't prepared for. I literally got pulled to the side during them that year. And they was like, yo, I want you to do this two year tour for me. I didn't know. I didn't know triggers at the time. I was like, bro, I'm not even finna try like, I know I'm not ready for it yet. And at the end of the day, like, a lot of people don't know that, but, like, a lot of people that blew up was not because of just, like, the drum off, but, like, there were things that happened after that that they were able to be entrusted with that I was not prepared for, that some were. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Right. Ooh. It's... <laughs> Let me tell you a little backstory on like while you were killing right there. <laughs> it was me. I'm pretty sure other few people that sat there watching that and didn't want to look at their drums for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I got church the next day. I don't feel like playing these drums. <laughs> 
Just let you know on on your side, oh, there's another God. side. Oh, <laughs> we sitting. I'm, hold up. Let me show you. Let me show you what happened after we saw this video. Oh God. Let me let me let me, let me pull it up. Oh, oh God. So. <laughs> I don't have. Let's see. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Because uh, after this, I, I, I couldn't. Me and some friends of mine, we, we, we lost our mind. <laughs> we got obsessed. Uh, let's see. Filters channel. Let me pull up my old, old channel. My very first YouTube channel with a thousand subscribers. How many, how many channels you got, bro? Uh, okay, so this this was actually this was um, Alexander Raspberry's channel, mm -hmm. and I he let me upload some videos on here. This nice. channel right here was my brother Justin Bishop Bosley's channel back in two thousand nine. All he right, was, he forgot his password. Yeah. But before he forgot his password, he like stopped using it. And then I started uploading on it. But he forgot his password. I was locked out of this channel for five years. Five. <laughs> he didn't press forgot password and redid it. But he forgot his e <laughs> recovery email password. Yeah. So, yeah. So Oof, ooh, that's that's some, somehow he ended up remembering it. And then I got back on this and that was, it was it. So, uh, That's wild. I'll tell you something. This is this is a this is a quick for like five seconds of this. It's a quick clip of Alexander Raspberry. <laughs> I don't have mine because I played so horribly. I deleted the video. But uh, yeah, we would go to the church, turn all the lights off, turn the spotlights on, and uh -huh. just act like we had guitar <clears throat> center drum off. After the yo. Freaking video. We did this drug every day. <laughs> I'm honored, bro. Every That's day. hilarious. And I'm like, it's like this. this we, we, we had our PDP. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm honored, bro. Yep, yeah, it's just. Ridiculous! Like we every single day. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's a shout out to Alex, man. But that, man, I'm honored, bro. Seriously, like I don't take that stuff for granted, dog. Like I, I, I be forgetting how much my influence runs, and like, yeah, stuff like that reminds me, like, yo, like I'm grateful, bro. I'm beyond grateful to be an inspiration to somebody. Real well, talk. Yeah, that's Thank it's, you, it's, yep, it was it, it was bittersweet because I, <laughs> I, 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 I I'm sitting there like you just, just it, that's yeah. You know, it's just, oh my god. It's yeah, crazy, crazy inspirations and stuff.